Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we have another episode of Battle of the Blades, and this one turned out to be quite the epic battle when I went through scoring, featuring two top-notch premium knives, first one being the TRM Atom, fully made in America, as well as the newly released Wii Esprit. Yes, this is the Esprit. You guys were very good at correcting my mispronunciation of this knife during my review. I wish I could say I mispronunciated it on perfect uh, or on purpose to uh, try and uh, bring in more comments, but no, I I just completely botched the pronunciation of it. So we're moving on. We're past that. It's the Esprit from now on, and this is one. Epic head-to-head -head battle. Let's go over the categories again. We have blade, handle ergos, value, carry, quality, action, aesthetics. Points ranging anywhere from zero to five points. Zero being trash, five being it can't get much better. And let me tell you right now, between these two knives, there's a lot that can't get much better. There, There is some room for improvement, and uh, we're going to go over all that. We're going to find a winner. Yes, there is a winner. This is not a tie. I will tell you that right now. Uh, but let's get going. Let's start on the blade. Let's start with the Esprit. And we have a blade coming in at 3.25 inches, CPM 20 CV steel, a 0.21 inch thick blade stock, and an edge reading of 16 thousandths behind the edge. That's pretty nice. What else is really nice about this knife? Well, it's very slicey, and it has what I find to be a very, very attractive swedge up top that also going to help reduce drag through your bigger, more uh, harder cuts or fuller cuts, however you want to call it, um, as well as this nice, dark, heavy stone wash finish. Um, I I really want to call it an acid wash, but it, it just says stone wash, so I don't know, acid wash, stone wash, regardless, it's nice, dark, hides the scratches, really nice finish on this and it just it has that laconico touch that is a factor in this blade that's a massive factor in this blade um this blade for me is a 4.5 very very solid the only thing that could man i there's really not many things that could make this blade better but i just don't feel like it's perfect i i, I struggle to see a a full five here but it's about as perfect as you can be um, going into the Atom, you have a slightly longer blade coming in at 3.5 inches, CPM 20 CV steel as well, blade stock super thin, 0 0.09 inches, as well as an edge ring of 19 thousandths behind the edge. Now this is where it gets kind of interesting because this blade at 19 thousandths behind the edge is still a hair slicier than the Esprit, and I think that's just a combination of edge and blade stock. Um, but again, both are slicey in their own rights. This is a little slicier, although this does have a, a much daintier tip. This is a tip you got to be careful with. Um, you don't want to do any super heavy work because you could, you could definitely snap that tip. Um, but regardless, still a great blade. If it had a little bit of a thicker tip, if this knife had the tip of the, the Esprit, which is is a slightly thicker, has just an extra bit more uh, meat up there, um, it would probably be a 5. Probably. But it's a 4.5 as well. Um, so we kind of balance out on the blade here. Now going into the handle and ergos, there is one that I prefer more. Let's start with the Atom. The Atom feels really good. It, it, it's a longer handle, so it's going to fit really good for uh, for pretty much any size hand. Um, what's really important about the Atom is when you're holding this, to me personally, I feel like this is not a good place to hold it. You could put more pressure on the liner lock, maybe potentially pushing it in if you have, you know, real beefy hands. Um, I don't necessarily worry about that myself because you have a, a good enough lockup. But this right here, this is where you should be holding this knife. Get that little pinch right above the liner lock area. And for me, it fills my hand better than this. So this is better. Um, it is pretty thin, so you kind of notice that, but it also doesn't have any hot spots. It's wide enough back here to where it really hides the pocket clip well, and it just feels really good. Now, on the negative side, um, these, these are somewhat uh, flimsy scales, I guess. The, the blades, you can kind of do this. You can, you've seen other people do it. You can bend the knife a little it's it's really not that bad but 
it, it doesn't feel as solid as a knife with, you know, titanium and carbon fiber like what we have here. Um, but it still feels good. I'm not worried about this breaking on me, but I do have to watch how hard I use it. But again, I, you know, it's one of those things you got to throw a lot of really hard use to do, you know, damages you can't fix to this knife. It's a very high quality knife. The handle and ergos are really good, but because of that little bit of flimsiness and it just doesn't quite feel as solid in hand, I'm still going to go 4.5, but it's very close to being a 5. Um, the easy scale swap, it was another huge plus, and I did include it in this. It was kind of an aesthetics thing too, but I did kind of factor that in. With just these two screws taken out, you can replace these, uh, the scales on this Atom very, very easily. Um, but again, that leaves you with just a thin liner lock as well as or liners on the inside of, of both scales that really make for the stability of this handle. I think it could use, I, I just wish it felt a little, a little more solid in my hand, but it still feels good. It still feels really good. That's why I'm giving it a 4.5. Now going into the Esprit though, it is slightly different. Um, it, it is a definitely more solid feel in my hand, but even more importantly, it feels fills my hand more. It really does. Um, I don't feel nearly, not nearly as much emptiness, I guess, up here, primarily because of you just have the, the swell and the belly part of the handle. It doesn't go in as much as it does right here on the Atom, and that makes a huge difference. Now, these are both contoured slightly. Neither one is contoured a lot, um, so they're pretty similar there, and as far as width, um, they're actually... Yeah, they're, they're very, very similar in width, but the overall thickness is, yeah, man, there's just something about the design of this Esprit, and I think it has more to do with just the overall length, since it's not quite as long, it, it, it does just, it fills my hand a little better, and it just, it feels, a, I get a better purchase with this, and my hands just naturally fall into the same place every time I hold it in my hand. Sometimes I got to move it around a little with the Atom, but like I said, it still feels good. Um, regardless, though, you also have some really nice carbon fiber that I'm coming to like more and more as I carry this knife. Um, that solid lockup with the titanium frame lock. Um, excellent, excellent pocket clip, which will factor more into the carry, but it's also part of the handle. Um, we'll talk about the pocket clips for both of these more when we get to the carry, but uh, it's really good on the Atom as well. Um, but because this fills my hand better, I'm going to go full five. Full five on the handle and ergos of the Esprit because it, it really is a, a dream to hold in your hand. feels very, very good. Um, now the value. The value is tough because... The prices are actually pretty close. Um, the price of the Esprit, this model right here with carbon fiber, is $216.75. Now, that is some really nice carbon fiber. It's, of course, great titanium. You have that renowned name designing the knife, Ray Laconico. That's huge with this. That's a huge factor of this because um, it has the Laconico tax. You know, he's got to get his royalties in. Absolutely rightfully so. No issue there. I just think we could have kept the cost and price of the knife down while even giving Ray his dues. Um, you look at something like the Wee Kite Fin, it's it's 150 some bucks. Um, I, I don't know how much Ray gets from this. I don't know Ray personally, so I'm not trying to get into that. I just, I feel like this knife should still be closer to right under the $200 one Anywhere from 180 to 190, I you know that I don't know. I, I just I definitely think it's it's overpriced a bit. So I think 216.75 is a little high. So the value for this guy, I'm gonna go 3.5 because I I I think we um, I don't want to say they got greedy because 216.75 for a knife like this still isn't bad, but I still feel like it's overpriced. I just do. Um, I see too many other products um, that kind of challenge the price of this knife. Um, now, going into the TRM Atom, we have a completely different story. This starts at 205. Now, that it starts. It, it can go up to, I think, 240, 235, maybe even 250, depending on what scales you get with the knife. The scales factor a lot into that. Um, I'm not using the price of these scales. I'm going off the price of a standard base Atom with regular Micarta scales. Those start at 205 with the Micarta scales. And I tell you what for the package you get 100% USA made 
for $205. That is a full five all day long. Um, there, it costs a whole heck of a lot more to manufacture in the U.S. than it does China. Um, we are going to hit the U.S. and China subject here a little later in this battle as well. So yeah, I'm not putting a point in the USA's corner one. I'm simply saying that it is more expensive to manufacture in the USA. And when you can make a knife of this caliber and this quality for $205, that is a full five for me all day long. Excellent value in the TRM Atom. Now going into carry, these both carry excellent. In all honesty, they both carry like a dream. They both disappear in the pocket, and it's because of these clips right here. As you can see, they're both, they, neither one could really get much better. People are going to say, well, the TRM Atom doesn't have recessed screws. You know, they don't, but look at them. You can barely see them. They're not a factor. So that doesn't bother me one bit. I'm not taking any points off uh, for the Atom not having recessed screws because it simply doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the in and out of the pocket. It doesn't affect anything whatsoever. So uh, fives across the board. Both these get fives for carry. They're both fantastic. Quality. Here's where we're going to hit that subject of USA and China again. These two knives right here are prime examples, and I am so happy to say this. These are prime examples of quality coming from care and effort, not an area. Both of these knives have zero quality issues. I know I said earlier the handles feel, you know, not, not quite as solid as all carbon fiber and titanium, but you know what? That's not a quality issue. That's not, uh, it's not a defect. It's not something wrong. It's just how the knife was designed and it doesn't affect the performance of the knife. It may limit the knife a little, but it's not a defect. It's not a quality issue. So that's not a concern here. Both of these knives have absolutely fantastic quality. They both get fives again. And again, that is a prime example, guys. China or USA, you can get good quality all over the world, and you got great quality in both of these knives right here. Going into action, again, you, it's almost like looking into a mirror. Um, the Esprit is very, very fidgety. It's It really is fantastic either way. You have caged ceramic bearings on this, so you know it's smooth. It has a nice, crisp click on a thwack when it comes out. The front flipper is fantastic. Um, you can middle finger flick it, no problem. So m m definitely more of a fidget factor in this. Um, but again, super smooth, closes just fine. No issues whatsoever with the action on the Esprit. Going into the Atom. Um, the only issue with the Atom is I don't exactly love these thumb studs. But they are really good. I What, what I don't like is... There's not really, so you compare these thumbs, these obviously have more texturing on the Esprit. Now you don't have the texturing on these thumb studs, but you can get like the little rubber bands that are, I call them rubber bands, they're little rings, like little O-rings that, um, that TRM offers. And they're super cheap, they're not expensive. Um, I, I kind of wish they would send some with the knives. Maybe that's changed, but when I bought mine, I didn't get any. I wasn't expecting to. Um, so I, I, I do wish, though, they would include a set of those with the knife. So that's and that's not exactly here nor there because, again, it's a very, very small cost. And the action's still great. I tell you, you just, boom, pops right out. If you use a little wrist, you can. And, you know, it, it, it maybe feels a little better, but you don't need to. Uh, simple thumb and the blade pops out. You can also, of course, middle finger flick it just fine. So even though it doesn't have the front flipper, I that's that doesn't hinder the, 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 the quality of the action or how good the action is. So I'm not gonna take away from that. I'm gonna go 4.5 for this one as well. So 4.5 for both of these knives on action. There's very little things that could make this better. Maybe if it did have bands on it, maybe it would be a full five. But I, I still really like it. I obviously am like this enough to where I haven't bought any yet. So and I and I probably won't in all honesty because the it, um, it is a little unique how the edge of the thumb studs kind of grab your thumb. It's 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 not pointy, but it grabs enough to where you feel it. I don't want to say it feels sharp, but it feels defined. I guess it's defined is the best word because it don't feel sharp. It's not going to cut you. It doesn't hurt you, but you definitely notice it. Works really good. Flies out. 4.5 for both of these. Now, going into aesthetics, guys, just look at both of these. I mean, looking at just the handle, the handle of each one, the aesthetics are, are both a 5 for me. You have absolutely excellent pocket clips on both of them. 
Um, really nice closed profiles both sort of simple but very like if like the atoms prime example if you just saw the outline of this knife you could probably be like oh yeah that's an atom you know it's it's, it's just it's it's becoming a pretty iconic knife um the esprit is too, still way too new to say that but look at it i mean it still screams laconico and that says a whole lot because he's one hell of a designer so the handles kind of wash out i would give them you know i would give them both fives um but we got to factor in the blades we got a factor in the blades here, and looking at the Esprit compared to the Atom, <sighs> the Swedge makes the difference. The Swedge and the finish, I like the finish on the Esprit a lot more than I do the Atom. Both completely fine. They're going to work just great, um, but the Swedge just adds that extra element of just class and just, just really real good looker. Real good looker that Esprit is. So, oh, the Atom is still great. I do slightly prefer the aesthetics of the Esprit. Gonna go a full five on the Esprit. I, guys, there's really, the reason I do that is I wouldn't change anything on this knife. I would change absolutely nothing. Um, when it comes to the Atom, there's still very few things I would change. I wouldn't mind seeing them getting a little creative with the blade, though. Doing a little more, putting a, some type of swedge or... Maybe even, a, I don't know, you couldn't really put a cutout because there's not a whole lot of room. But who knows, you know, I mean, I'm sure there will uh, in time be variations or whatever. But as they sit right here right now, you have a very, very close battle with a total being 33 to 32.5 and the winner being the Atom. The Atom pulled it off. And I tell you, when, when I first sat these two knives down because... Whether or not these look exactly the same, these knives are very, very similar in hand and, and there's a lot of things in performance and action. They're, they're very similar knives. And I think even aesthetically, if you just look at the outline, they're pretty similar. Um, I thought the Esprit was gonna take this. I really did. The Atom just slightly edged it out. It really got a good jump in value. The value is obviously what set it ahead. But definitely a more solid knife from top to bottom as far as the scoring in this video anyway, for what little it may mean, just me. But I gotta go with the Atom in this one. I'm really surprised. I still love my Ray Laconico designs, but the Atom wins this one, guys. The Atom comes out on top. Let me know which one would you prefer. How's the scoring in this? What would you do? Which knife would you go with? Let me know who you think should have won or if I was right. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.